Oh no, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, there I am on the live stream. Wow, I'm live. Great. Copy. There we go. And... Paste. It's on my Twitter. Okay! Um, we are set to go. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and get this started. My chair can stop squeaking. Video feed looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks really good. Okay, cool. Alright. Hello, everybody. This is Hypercool64, and... As a squeaky chair. Welcome to my Thousand Year Door live stream. Uh, this is a live stream that I've decided to do um, to get back up to uh, to get back up to speed with my Thousand Year Door LP. And uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because of the fact of well, well, the reason why I'm doing the live stream in the first place is because I I just need to, I feel like that you know going through the game again. I've got, this is like the fourth time I'm going through this game again, and or getting back to the point where I was before. And I just realized I misspelled live stream. I put up one after live stream. There we go. That's better. Okay. So I feel like that doing commentary over this will be good for me. And I also feel like that recording this will be good. That way people who are coming into my channel for the first time will be confused about my stats. Because my stats are going to be a little bit different. Um, I have looked back on uh, my recent video of the Thousand Year Door. What I do know is that my the level I was at on the last episode was level 8. I had 20 HP, 20 FP, and 9 badge points. So those are the stats I'm aiming for. I also had around 90 experience, so those are the stats I'm going to be aiming for. And I'm going to be playing up to the up to all the town missions that I did after Chapter 2. All of them that were long after Chapter 2. So, without further ado, let's get this started. I just realized I got to turn on the audio. Give me a second. There we go. All right, let's get started. We have two people watching. Okay. Um, man, it's been it's been a while since I've actually played this game, man. Ugh. All right, let's get into it. I wonder if I should watch the intro first, cause it's been a while. Hmm. You know, you know, what? I'm gonna watch the intro. I'm just gonna sit back, watch the intro first. Oh man. <laughs> Today, I'm going to tell you a story about the Thousand Year Door. Oh my gosh. It has been forever since I've played this game. L let alone recorded it. it. I've been on so many hiatuses about this LP. Like, my LP of this game has been on so many hiatuses and has had so many delays. It's not even funny. Like, for anyone who's coming in for the first time, I, I might as well go ahead and explain uh, my little fiasco with, with my Thousand Year Door LP for anyone who's coming into this for the first time. I've been doing a Let's Play of the Thousand Year Door on my channel, and it has gone through so many delays, and so many hiatuses, and so many problems, whether it was my data gang, all my data gang uh, corrupted or lost, um, me recording stuff and ending up, you know, not editing it at the end, or recording stuff that I just felt was not very good. Um, so... Now that I now that it's summer and I have more free time, I can finally get back into playing this game again, and I'm live streaming it on Twitch just so everybody's caught back up to speed. And man, oh, it's so nice to see this intro again. It is so nice to see this game again because it has literally been forever since I've played this game. It is not even funny. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Indeed, <laughs> the game agrees with me. Indeed. Um, but yeah, it's time to go back and go through the fabled tale of the treasure of Rogueport. That's the city of Rogueport. The tale of the quest of the legendary treasure. And the Thousand Year Door starts here. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, it's been... Oh. oh man, so good to see this game again. I love this game so much, guys. You don't even know. I love this game. Such a solid RPG. It's really good. Um, probably my favorite uh, game out of the Mario RPGs, to be completely honest. It. I, I feel like that, in terms of its battle system, I think it's the best. Um, it definitely did a great job to improve on the original battle system of Paper Mario. It also has some very hilarious dialogue. The game has an incredibly great sense of humor. Um, the visuals look great. I really like how the game looks. You know, the paper effects, 
how everything looks like paper and, you know, a toy box and everything. It looks great. Definitely improvement from the previous game. And the story itself, I think, is... For a Mario game, I think it's quite intriguing. I think the story is very well done uh, for a Mario game. With all the interest, uh, uh, like, different interludes that happen after each chapter. I think it's great. Um, but yeah, very solid game. Really like it. Definitely deserves to be played by everybody. And it's probably one of my favorite GameCube titles of all time. Um, I almost want to say it's my favorite GameCube title, but I kind of think that Melee is kind of my favorite uh, GameCube title, like, ever. But, you know what? Whatever. This is still one of my favorite GameCube titles, and it's one of my favorite Mario games ever made. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, as Peach goes into... I guess this is a trap. I don't think it's ever confirmed what that old lady is. Or something. Maybe it's a trap? I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. We are back into this game. Oh my gosh, it is so... I am... Oh, I'm so happy to see that tile screen again. Ugh. Well, guess there's no need to delay it any longer. Let's get into it. Oh, man. Loading save file. Do not touch the memory card in slot A. I will not. Save file has been loaded. All right, then. It... What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? What? What the frick is this? Oh, spoilers, spoiler, 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 spoiler. A, B, start. A, B, A, B, A, B. Press all buttons. Crap. Spoilers, 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 spoilers. Hold on one moment. <laughs> okay, that was my bad. I didn't know what that file was. That was my bad. Uh it's again. It's been a long time since I've played this game. I probably should have checked that beforehand, but oh well. Um, it's been a long time since I've actually played this game, so yeah. I, I I'm pretty sure I still remember everything, but I, you know, whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and delete those files because I really don't need them, or unless I do need them, or I don't need them. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, you know what? I'll keep these files. Let's just uh, actually, let's go ahead and delete this file. I really don't need it. Oh, that tile screen. Love it. Alright, let's name our file. Oh, man. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm so excited about this, guys. It's, oh, you don't even know. Hyper. C. I can't fit hyper call on there. 64. All right, there's our name. <sighs> Let's do it. Let's get back into this game after so many months. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I actually didn't look at... Um, you know what? Hang on. I want to check something. When was the last time I uploaded a Thousand Year Door episode? I want to check. I'm, I'm just... I'm really curious. August 7th, 2013. So it has literally been over 10 months. <laughs> Great. Great. Huh. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Yeah, what are you talking about? Yes. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> My dad was saying something really weird. Um. Okay. Ah. Every. Ah. Uh. Let's just get into it. <laughs> Alright. <sighs> Am I going to do voiceovers, voiceovers for these characters? Should I do that? You know what? Forget well. Hey! Pear Carry, how you doing? Mail call! I need to do that more like mail call. Yeah, that's more appropriate. And there's Luigi. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Uh. Been so long. Welcome back, old friend. Hey, bro, check it out. I'd rather burn Princess Pizza. What I for you? Back to more insulting voice acting <laughs> again. I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? Ahem, now let's see here. 
Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find treasure all by myself... Bullcrap 3D World! I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you came. When you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come, Peach. Yeah, I just gotta say bullcrap on that one. If you guys have seen 3D World, she, can, she could probably do that herself. Oh yeah, and Super Mario Adventures comic. <laughs> so yeah, bullcrap. But anyway. What do you know? It's true. There's a wetted old map in here with the leather. Check it out. You shall check it out. Oh, that map. And with that... Oh, <laughs> oh geez. Mm. Oh, man. Oh, that, that music. I love it. Mm. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just really kind of soaking in that we're finally getting back into this. Oh, man. Well. No need to delay any longer. Let's get into the game for reals. <sighs> Screen goes white. Should I do what I usually do? You know what? Forget. I'm gonna do it. It's time for the prologue. A rogue's welcome. All right. Stream seems to look good. It looks like there's like around a 10 second delay, I think. But you know what? Whatever. It's fine. Yeah, I, I think it's 10 to 15 seconds. Whatever. Excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport. Oh. oh. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. After ten months. Ten months. You see? We'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. Alright. Give it a shot. Here it comes. Oh my god. Oh, it's, I am so happy to hear that music again. You guys don't even know. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Okay. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you about the sordid tales about Rogueport on our way here, did I not? Yeah, you did, but... Watch that. I'm sorry. You say there's a princess waiting here for you? Yes, there is. Is that, sir? Er... Of course, sir. Sure. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. He's freaking Mario! Like, what did he know that that's Mario? Like, like everybody- I assume everybody in the world of Mar- in the world of the Mushroom Kingdom knows what who Mario is. So when they know that if Mario was talking about Princess, it would be Princess Peach. Then again, there's also Daisy as well, so whatever. Moving on. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. Yes, Rogueport is definitely a very dangerous place. And I like that, by the way. It was kind of cool. Alright, we have disembarked, and with that, welcome to Rogueport. We are back into the game. Oh my gosh, it has been 10 months. I know I keep saying it, but it's been over 10 months. <laughs> Hit this block, yes, I know what to do. Save my progress here, heck yes. Uh, also, one thing I'm going to be doing uh, before we end this is, I am going to be making two separate files for this LP. That way, or that way, if I ever mess up, if my recordings ever mess up, or I feel like I need to re-record something, I can just go on the d uh, another file and just do it again. That way I can avoid going through this game over and over again. Anyway, with that uh, all the way, oh. Hey, what do you want from me? Get away from me, freak! Uh-oh. <laughs> Looks like our trusty Goombella is in trouble. Oh, come off it, you airhead. I know it's tough for you, but don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the crystal stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking, so be a good girl and tell us what you know, right now. Never! I don't have anything to say to you creeps. Ew! 
I suppose it would be right if a sassy little lass like you met with an untimely demise. Buh, buh, buh. <laughs> Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. At your command, Lord Crump. We're on it. No, no, no. Stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream. Really? Oh, man, she's in trouble. We better go see what's going on. Oh, what? Like I go anywhere with you smelly lunatics like you. Huh, <laughs> not likely. What? What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you can screw up my plans? Am I like, what? what? I, I didn't mean to get to of this. What's going on? God, it's always something. Looks like I'm going to have to give you a little taste of the old crump -a bomb What the frick? <laughs> I love how Mario just gets stuck in these awkward situations. This friend, don't you just love those situations when the main characters get in these situations without any intention of doing that or getting into it? Anyway, battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat this freak of the week, okay? <laughs> nice pun. Uh, don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. So what I really like about the Thousand Year Door is that it brings back the hammer from the previous game. So it feels like that while you while you're back down to level one, you still retain some of the items from the previous game, which I really like. Anyway, for the first time in ten months. Oh yeah, I still got it. Sweet! You know that hurt. Well, I gotta say, you're tougher than you look. Keep it up, and you'll beat him in no time. I still got it. Still got it. Do a hammer. Three, two, one. Boom. I know there's no one around, but I still like to do stylish moves. You got him on the ropes. Come on, keep wailing on him. Dang it. I was trying to do um a uh, super guard. But it didn't work. It's been a while, so honestly, I don't expect myself to get everything on the dot the first time. You did it! You did it! Yes! And you got star points! Yeah, I bet you know, but you get these things called star points when you win battles. When you get 100 points, you go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? Wait, why would she say that we already knew that if she's <laughs> she meeting us for the first time? Whatever. It's, it's Mario Logic. I'm not going to argue with it. Especially Paper Mario Logic. Ugh. Anyway. Buh, buh, buh. Okay, you got a couple decent shots in. I'll give you that. But, unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time! It's an entire army! Rick! Punish him! And that's over, guys. Looks like the game's over, guys. Alright, well, it looks like... Uh, you know what? Uh, okay, I've already made that joke already. Let's... No. Quick, this way! <laughs> Voice crack. Phew, what a bunch of loons. Let's just sneak out of here, what do you say? Definitely, let's get out of here. <laughs> they still don't notice me. Uh -huh. Stop! <laughs> it's like, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd they go, huh? You, Johnson, did you see them? Did anyone? Johnson, Johnson, where's Johnson? Johnson, you know, Johnson, Johnson, where'd you go? Johnson, 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 where'd you go? <laughs> oh, crud, they bolted! Also, those those are some nice low-res uh, models by there, by the way. <laughs> Does anyone notice that but me? Anyone? No? Okay, whatever. Wow, mister, you totally saved me, thanks! I have just got to give you a little reward. Oh, bang, chicka, bang, wow! Actually, no, that's that, that that's terrible. Oh, why did I say that? That was horrible. I'm so sorry. Anyway, my name's Goombella. I'm a student. I'm a student at the University of Goom. Nice to meet you. So she's a college student. So, uh, who are you? Mario? Wait, you mean like the famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Me? I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know the place is called Rogueport, so I should have expected it, but sheesh! I'd never come to a place like this if there weren't some legendary treasure here. It's like, wait, what? Also, background, by the way. What? You're looking for the legendary treasure, too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 bucko. What, did, what you got there? <laughs> That's a little weird, but sorry. Oh my gosh! Is that the treasure map? You have to tell me where you got that! Princess Peach? What? 
great hoogly boogly if it isn't Mr. Mario. I like that in the background. <laughs> Stay down, bro. The boss sends his greetings. How'd that bro taste, punk? We'll know more about them later. Are you okay? That hurt. Those jerks. We won't forget this. I love that stuff. I like that attention to detail. Bit of a coincidence bumping into one another in this sort of place. Hmm? Oh. So tell me, Mr. Mario, uh, what in the world brings you to this wretched little burg? Hmm? Ah, indeed. Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map. And she told you she'd meet you here in Rogueport. Intriguing. You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Um, I was about to ask you about that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my eye off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished! Oh crap, that's not good. You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. Really? Really? You're gonna come to that conclusion already? <laughs> Toadsworth, you are... Ugh. I understand he's always really worried about the princess, but come on, dude. Really? I've been at a loss at what to do. I've been fraught with worry, I tell you. But I'm feeling better that with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her. Surely. But I know my place, Master Mario. And it is not it. I leave this task to you. I believe I'll recline in the inn, right over there, and enjoy a spot of tea props. In fact, I'd highly recommend it, particularly if you find your HP low. Just drop on in. Ho oh, ho. Boo! I just know this man now. Boo! Yes, anyway, a little rest there will fill all of your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. Huff, I say. Huff, I say. Um, Princess Peach? Did he mean, like, Peach? The Mushroom Kingdom Princess? The princess who already gets na who always gets nabbed by Bowser, the Koopa King? The one you rescue? Wait a second, this is crazy! Princess Peach send you that treasure map? Whoa, this is real intense. Well, where could she have gone, then, don't you think? Or do you think, I mean. You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Oh, oh, I know, Mario, come with me! One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll catch up to Princess Peach. Great. We're all good then. Let's go, Mario. And there's our first partner, Goombella. Nice to see you again. Again. Ten months. <laughs> that was my pen. Oh, man. I always seem to get a voice crack. Also, why do they keep saying that it's a primer? Because maybe it's a... I don't know. Whatever. Press X. Yeah, I get it. I get this. Just gonna skip all this. I know how to do all this. Shut up. Shut up. Do the Goomba stomp. Yeah. Woo. First off, we gotta go find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to town myself, I uh, don't know where he lives. So keep an eye out. Here's what Professor Frankly looks like. Alright, I'll definitely keep a lookout. But first things first, let's see what's over here. Freeze! You two, not another step. Don't come this way. That's That was a terrible step. I, I think that's more like a... A voice... Uh, let's try this. Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move! You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch. Not a minute, not a minute, here. Uh, okay. Crap. Well, we gotta go find Professor Frankly. I'm sure we won't step on. Oh crap! Ah! Idiot! You stepped on it. My poor contact lens. I told you not to move. Don't your stupid ears work? What were you thinking? Mario's like, I didn't mean to. It's your fault. Now I have to buy a new contact lens. But you're gonna pay for it. What? Come on. Compensate, Mr. Clumsy! Fine. 
If that's your plan, then here's mine, you oof. I'm gonna block this gate to the west side until you bring me new contact lights. Well, that is mean. And yeah, you literally can't go to the other side until you can find your contact lens. You know what? I didn't mean to. So you know what? Hammer to the head. Frick you. <laughs> that was mean. <laughs> anyway. Let's go ahead and look in here. Welcome. Yes, welcome to the Toad Burrows Bazaar. Eh, what's that? You want a contact lens, you say? Hmm. Wait just a moment. Okay. They look the same. Gee, fella, I'm sorry, but we don't have any in stock right now. Tough luck, I know. I can special order one right away for you, but it'll take a while. Check back soon, okay? That's actually something you have to do if you have to if you want to get to the other side again. Oh, so that was a weird glitch with uh, Goombella. Save our game. Save it. Save it. And um, okay, we're giving a hundred coins to the beginning. All right. All right, so there's actually something I want to do. I don't know if he's there yet, so I'm going to go check. There's a mouse I want to go talk to really quickly. Is he here? Is he here? He's not here yet. Okay, I got away a little bit. Okay, um, why don't we go find Professor Frankly? Then. Bum, bum, bum. ba da ba ba da ba 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 da ba da ba 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 and uh, now we're in here. What the frick? Oops, pardon me, sucker. Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Mario, you gotta wake up. That guy just stole half your coins. Oh, frick. That is so lame. Ugh, I hate this town. It's a, that's pretty, pretty stingy. So why don't we go find that guy, shall we? Head back over yeah. Back over here. Go in this room and busted. Oops! Uh, fancy me and you here. You're pretty dang persistent, buddy. What a pain. Fine, fine, okay? You got me. I'll keep your coins back. Here. Thank you very much. Now don't steal my coins again. Anyway, alright, so now let's actually go talk to Professor Frankly. Unless I want to try and do something else first. Do I, I... I have, like... What do I do first? Buy coins. Um, Actually, let's just travel around a little bit. There was something I wanted to do first, actually, but... Uh, I'm going to deny it. I want to see if I can try and fight this guy first. That guy over there. But I'm going to wait a little bit um, until I'm a little bit more powered up. Or, or at least have some items. Oh, hi! There you are, Professor Frankly! What's up? Who's there? Who wants me? Ah, uh, yes, you. Now, you, uh... I've seen your brief before. Yeah, that face. Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me I'm silent! Uh, I'll get it right. Uh, it's not Goombiel. Er, it's not Izzelagoom. <laughs> That's hilarious. Herm... Arm! Aha! I've got it! You really had to think hard there. <laughs> You're Goombel, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Well, yes, sir. That's me. I'm Goomba, a junior at U Goom. Go, Goombas! Of course I remember you. Not to toot my horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You, though, you stick out in my mind because you were such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is... Who? <laughs> I love that part. Oh, man. Jokes in this game are amazing. Mario, Professor! He's Mario! You know, the famous one! Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm. I haven't a clue about what's uh, hip right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you two all the way to a place like this? We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasures said to be below Rogueport. I thought that if anyone knew anything about it, it... You would, Professor Franklin. I was messed up there. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But why do you tykes want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that most say it's a little more than a fairy tale, don't you? 
Archaeologists and historians have to search for truth in those fairy tales, though. Me, I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point, and well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, about the treasure. There are many mysteries surrounding it. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories. Obviously, it's impossible to divine the truth among them, and many the theories end up on the History Channel. <laughs> I'm sorry, but 50% of the History Channel nowadays are theories, let's be honest. But all, but all agree on one point. To find a treasure, one must have the Crystal Stars. To find the treasure of yore, take the seven Crystal Stars to the Thousand Year Door. You mean the Crystal Stars that in that old saying that super elderly people pass down? Indeed, the same. As the saying goes, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you first must collect the seven Crystal Stars. Hold the magical map aloof before the entrance to the Thousand Year Door. Then the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. Yeah. A lot of the lore I've read says that if this magical map is taken to the doorway, then it'll show you where to find the crystal stars. Correct! And the Thousand Year Door is supposedly here, deep beneath the town. Yet the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost. If only we had that map. Hey! But we do have it, Professor! Or, well, not we, exactly. Mario has the magical map! What?! Really?! You, you actually have it! Can I just take a quick look at it, if you don't mind? Astonishing! This is it, the real thing! The one and only magical map! You, son, are my hero. You're great, fantastic, wonderful, even. With this, we can find the crystal stars just by holding this aloft before the legendary door. Right on, Professor. Good golly, what are we just doing? Just sitting here, then. Gumbella, Mario. Off we must go this instant. Let's take this magical map to the legendary door. Yes, why don't we do that? I bet you didn't know this rotten old thing came off, did you? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I like that. We can use this pipe to get down under the city streets. Come on, both of you. Let's get moving. Certainly. All right, I better not... Uh, oh, sorry. Oh, wait. Hang on a second. Mario, something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below. So, um, keep your guard up. You two do know about action commands, don't you? Of course. Really? A master, aren't you? Maybe you ought to practice them once, just to be safe. It's okay, I'm fine. Oh. Oh, frick! I accident- Mmm, I did it again! Okay. <laughs> We're practicing. <laughs> oh, someone's in the chat. Hello! Uh, choose the jump command to choose your attack. Alright. Hello, whoever's in the chat. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing very fantastic. When you choose your target, the action command... Bleh. I can't believe I chose it by mistake again! <laughs> I'm also attacking my own partner in this. Oh, cool. Never never seen anyone uh, uh, streaming the Thousand Year Door. Uh, year Door. Uh, yeah, not a lot of people uh, stream this game on Twitch, and that's because, well, it's not really a, that popular of a game to uh, stream. But the reason why I'm streaming it is that way um, I can get back caught up with the Thousand Year Door for my LP on my channel. <laughs> that was a voice crack. And um, I'm also doing it, uh, I'm, I'm recording this just to make sure that people who are watching my uh, channel for the first time are up to speed with the LP. So that's the reason why I'm doing this. I'm going to be uh, streaming uh, up to the point uh, where uh, I complete all the town missions that unlock after Chapter 2. So I'm going to be live streaming for about a few hours, I imagine. I also did not mean to do this. <laughs> I did not mean to uh, activate this uh, tutorial. Because I actually... Keep... Freak you, Professor Frankly. Oh! <laughs> I keep letting it go. <laughs> Let it go. Let it go. 
Oh, oh man. Now for a real treat. I'll teach you a really incredible technique. Alright, this is the super guard. There we go. That's harder to pull off. Alright, super guard. Yes, blah, blah, blah. I get it. Thank you. You want to practice a bit more? Nope, I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah, I'm a quick lyric. Something I knew about it already. Alright, down below. Hop up onto the pipe and tilt down to enter the pipe. Cool. Oh. I didn't mean to talk to you. Frick you. Okay, let's go. Stream is looking pretty good. We got four people watching. Sweet. Let's go ahead and save our game. Oh yeah, for those of you who are joining us for the first time, um, I am going to be streaming for about a few hours. I'm going to be streaming uh, up to the point where I complete the town missions to unlock after chapter 2. So for those of you who are joining for the first time... Hey! Hey man! What's up? Who's the hottie you got there with you? Oh, what? Oh, these guys. What's up, baby? Why don't you hang with us for a while? <laughs> Play real nice. <laughs> oh. Also, if you join me for the first time, the voice acting is going to be atrocious. Just warning you right now. Man, what a fine-looking Goomba. What's a fine-looking Goomba doing with a tubby mustache man like that? What a scumbag. <laughs> oh, it is, like, so sweet that you boys think I'm cute. Seriously. Yeah, guys like you make me feel like totally barfing. Now oh, get out of our way. Ouch, that was cold. Are you playing on emulator or GameCube? I am playing on my GameCube. Actually, I'm playing on my Wii, but... You know, uh, the Wii, a Wii that actually plays GameCube games. What, you too good for us? Come off it, sister. Nobody zings us like that. Nobody. Let's get them. Alright, our first real battle of the game. Well, we did have one battle earlier, but this is the first battle with actual enemies. A Goomba, a Spiny Goomba, and a Paragoomba. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to stomp on those guys. That one can fly, so I can only jump on that one. Always. Ah, shut up, Professor Frankly. Change the order of attack. Okay, yeah, I get it. Thank you very much. All right, let's do it. I think. What should we start out with? Um, let's do a hammer first. Three, two, one. And he is dead because he is extremely weak. And uh, let's do a tattle just to get out uh, of their HP. Boom. Sweet. That's a spiky Goomba. A spiky-headed Goomba. What a creative name. Yeah, very creative. Uh, the spikes are super pointing. Yep, max HP is 2, attack is 2, and defense is 0. Does does that Wii exist? How? A Wii. Um, yeah, the original... Uh, when the Wii originally came out, it did have backwards compatibility with the GameCube. The new ones that actually recently just came out do not have backwards compatibility with GameCube games. Which is kind of stupid. In fact, the, uh, I do actually own a Wii that actually uh, contains... Uh, I do actually own a Wii that actually is not supportive with GameCube games, which kind of sucks. And I honestly do not get why they made a, a Wii where GameCube uh, games were not supported. I, I did not get that. And I can't exactly attack this guy, so, uh, defend. Dang it. Didn't do the super guard. I don't want to use the super guard too much, or else I'm getting damaged too much. We got 10 star points. Sweet. Alright. Owie! Gotta get out of there, you jerks. Ha! Later, losers. That felt awesome. Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where that came from. <laughs> yeah. And they'll all have it in for us. When they attack, try to hammer them or jump on them while in the field. Attack successfully and you can perform the first strike. Yeah. Another staple of the series. Um, or at least it was a staple up to Super Paper Mario where it, they completely changed the game. Anyway. Waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, and jump! Waiting, I'm waiting, and jump! Nope. They just jumped the other way! <laughs> what? And Goombella is running forever against the wall. That's gonna be your AI for you, folks. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Down the pipe. First strike, sweet. Alright, so, um... Also, uh, just as a quick reminder, I will be uploading this to YouTube, so the stream will be available on YouTube, uh... 
Or at least I'll get it up to YouTube as soon as possible after the stream. So yeah, just want to uh, say that. And I'm also uh, I'm also going to be trying to do streams more often because I do want I, I do think that streams can be fun. So I do plan on doing more streams in the near future. Three star points, sweet, cool. All right, continuing on. Item. Uh, <laughs> that enemy just blocked me of that item. Okay. Now you die for that for you blocking that. I bleh, my grammar is great today. <laughs> oh man! First item in the game. You got an item. You got an item. Sorry, I can resist. <laughs> anyway. Okay. While I'm actually going through this, since this is getting a little bit boring, um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and talk about uh something that I was actually planning to do during the stream, and that was my sort of reactions to the recent, uh, 2E3 that, uh, ended recently. Oh my gosh, why is that? Foreshadowing. Um, so yeah, E3 just ended recently, and yes, I did, uh, check out some stuff for E3, and I mostly watched Nintendo stuff, so I'm mainly gonna talk about Nintendo. And, uh, in terms of how Nintendo did at, uh, E3, I think they actually did fairly well. Or, no, they didn't do very well. I think they did incredibly well this time. Um, I, I I think a good amount of people can agree that over the past couple years, Nintendo has definitely not been at their best. Um, over the past couple years, they sort of been playing it safe, maybe except for Smash Bros. last year. This year, they announced... Just, wow, they did a good amount of stuff right this year. Um, for example, the digital event. For, for those of you who watched it, the digital event um, was done very, very well. Um, not only did it have a lot of information about upcoming games, but it also showed that Nintendo had a sense of humor. They they sort of did because I feel like with previous, um, with more recent Nintendo Directs, they've been doing a lot of more humorous skits and such. Uh, the mainly the Smash Brothers Direct and the Mario Kart Direct. And in my opinion, I'm really happy that Nintendo is going for a more, um, for a more humorous type of take on their directs or uh, live streams because it makes. It makes them more enjoyable, and for this, for the digital event in particular, they announced a good amount of stuff. Uh, for instance, they announced that, well, right at the beginning, we uh, got sort of a robot chicken type of skit, which I actually didn't know it was robot chicken because I've actually I haven't watched much of that, so I didn't know it was actually robot chicken. And then um, right after that, right after that one uh, robot chicken skit, there was a scene where um, me, where Iwata and Reggie Fisume were fighting against each other. And it was so much fun to watch. It was so cool. I loved it. And it was basically a little foreshadowing to announce that me characters were going to be in the game, and which is awesome. I'm excited that me characters are going to be in the in the next Smash Brothers, and the fact of there are going to be multiple versions of me characters, which is really awesome. Anyway, whoa! Hey, you. Can you hear me? You can. Then that must mean you're the hero of legend. Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah. Everyone else, nothing. See, long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locked me in this box. Uh, or locking me in this box. Yeah, I was bummed. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So, yeah, anyway, big guy, what brings you here? What brings a hero like you to a place like this? Er, Mario, a word for you? I'm not exactly confident that we can trust this box. I think it may be best not to mention that we're looking for the Crystal Stars. YOU JUST MENTIONED IT OUT LOUD, YOU IDIOT! Well, drought. I JUST SAID IT OUT LOUD! WHAT'S WRONG WITH ME?! Oh yeah, searching for the Crystal Star, are you not? Are you now? So you really are a hero. Wait, but I thought he said that Mario could only hear- Whatever, anyway. Well, you're definitely gonna need my help if you hope to get those bad- Get those bad boys. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Sorry, I can't resist. Um, so, first, you should look for the key to this box. Then, use it to let me out. Definitely. By the way, the key looks like this. Alright. Well, what do you think we ought to do, Mario? Well, I, well, I know my vote goes to you finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. 
Come on! Being stuck in this box is no picnic. I'm counting on you, oh great legendary hero. Yes, cuz we're t it's, he totally s it, it, that's totally real. What he's totally saying, it's true. Spoiler alert, it's not. But we're required to get this for the rest of the game. Um, but anyway. Up we go. Up we go. Alright, let's see what happens. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You brought the key! Yes! Oh, man, I owe you big! And let's use it. Yes! Thank... Ha! Thank nothing. Wee-hee! Fools! Oh, that hurt my voice. Wow. Oh. Oh, man. That hurt my voice. Oh, boy. Did you fall for it? I burned you! What, you think I was gonna help you? Instead, I'm gonna spread a little of a suffering I've endured in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those are the breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse upon you. Buggly wuggly woo! Your curse! Oh, frick. Wee! Enjoy that curse, sucker. You got what you deserved. You wanna hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? Then listen well! From now on, if you press Y in certain areas, you'll turn into a paper airplane. Wee-hee! Terribly, terribly, ter trembling yet? Ugh. My speech. Suffering the rest of your days under my terrible curse. Wee-hee-hee! Oh, I can't help but chortle. Chortle? What? What the frick is that word? <laughs> Whatever. You're doomed! This curse is pretty rough, I guess. So, I suppose I owe it to you to explain it. Ready? If you stand on an airplane panel, like this one, the floor will start to glow. Yeah, okay, you're on the panel. Now try pressing Y, and then BAM! You're a paper airplane. Oh, so terrifying, so spooky. <laughs> I know, I know they're treating... Yes, I get it, it's terrible. I Like I say, I zoned out, what? <laughs> oh, man, I... 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 I love how they're going with the irony of this. The fact of, he thinks it's so spooky and scary, but in fact, it's actually helping us, so... Whatever. Uh, wow, that was... That was a lot for my voice. Wow. So, um... Wow. Just, wow. What was that guy's beef? <laughs> it was, uh, it was an, uh, it, it was an ironic joke, Goombella. It was an ironic joke. By the way, now we have a new ability where we can basically turn to a paper airplane, so if we press the Y button... You can control it by pressing left or right. Uh, uh, right allows us to go up, left allows us to go down. Oh man, I, I think I'm going to need to get a drink in a little bit, because... Mm, if I go this entire thing without getting a drink, and my voice is going to be shot. Oh man. <clears throat> so, I might be actually... um I might actually take a quick intermission uh, after getting... Uh, after doing a couple things, and then I'll be back with a drink. Because, again, I don't want my voice to be shot by the end of this episode. Or the end of the stream, anyway. It's the Thousand Year Door spoken of in the legends. I can't believe it's real. So the legends are all true. There it is, big as life. Come, let's move closer. Before we move closer, let's... Okay. Hey, what's that deal with that weird pedestal, huh? What could it be, you think? Hmm, I wonder. But before we figure out what it is, let's save. I can already tell my voice is already going a little shot, so yeah, I'm definitely going to need to get a drink in a little bit. In fact, you know what? Before it gets worse... Um, give me a minute. I'm going to get a caption. Is there a... Can I put a caption on this? Add text. Um, yeah, Ariel, what? Ruby ever. Um, edit scene. Ugh. Intertext. Inter... Oh, gee, that's really big. That is way too big. Intermission. That is way too small. <laughs> Probably should have practiced beforehand, but well, life goes on. There we go. Alright. 
Let's make that, uh... Color. Let's use, make it red. Why not? Okay. All right, guys. I'll be right back. Um, I gotta go get. I'm gonna go get something to drink because my. If I don't get something to drink, my voice is gonna end up shot by the end of this. So, uh, be right back. All right, guys. We are back. Sorry about that. I had to get. I had to get something to drink, or else my voice was gonna be shot. In fact, I'm gonna take a drink of water right now. That's better. I got a, a bottle of water and some chocolate milk by my side. So I should be good now. <clears throat> We're all good. I have some cough drops up there too in case my in case my voice gets really sore. But anyway, with that out of the way, let's get back into it. Let's go ahead and stand on this very strange pedestal. Oh, what's happening? Something mystical is happening. What could he be? Professor, what's going on? It's shiny. <laughs> it's a sparkling magical map. It's the 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 map. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, I I know I keep doing a lot of things that you know are kind of overdone, but sorry, I couldn't resist. Again. All right, and there's our first location. Wow, that drink helps. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ugh. Again, if I if I didn't grab those drinks, my voice would be shot after this stream. <laughs> Huzzah! The location of the Crystal Star has been recorded on your magical map. And Mario has learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Treat. So, unlike the previous game where you didn't get a special move until you got a, a star, um, you get a special move. At, or actually, did you get a... I can't remember if you... Whatever, I... I mean, my mind... I... I <laughs> it's been a while since I played Paper Mario, so... Um, I think you actually did get a special move before... Um, maybe you got a special move? Whatever, moving on! <laughs> I'm not gonna confuse myself. Professor, the map! <laughs> Why'd I give Goombella a high voice? And what was... What, what was with all those crazy lights? Huh... It appears that information related to the locations of the Crystal Stars appeared. I think I said that wrong, my bad. <laughs> and that shining light, it looks as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return into my place and study the map closely. I'm actually... Hmm. I'm actually maybe thinking about inviting someone to the stream, so maybe I have someone on my side or something. Hmm? Aha! I see! What do you see, Professor Frankly? You understand it, Professor? My dear, of course I do. Firstly, about the light we saw shining on Mario. By my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. A special move? Yes, it is, well, stuff like this is better explained by uh, example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? Yeah, no thanks. No thanks. Hmm, you're absolutely sure? Well, alright then. Let's have a look at the magical map and see what we can learn about the... Wow! Astounding! The, ma the map has radar-like functions. So, it's a GPS. <laughs> it now shows the location of a crystal star. It looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called the Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows? Yes, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Rogueport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine. So we'll go there. Does anybody know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe that Petal Meadows. If you can just find it, you'll get there instantly. Pipe travel's efficient. Mario World, in the Mario World, anyway. See, by the way, Mario, I'm curious. Where did you get that map, anyway? From Princess Peach? Really? Her Highness sent it to you, Mario? This Princess Peach. This wouldn't be her, would it? So it is her! Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. 
I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicious suspicions about Petto Meadows. I don't it doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petto Meadows on her own. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Hmm. <laughs> but I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. Alright, it's settled. Off the pedal mills, you two go. Wait, what did he mean by them? I, I I know who it is, but I'm just giving... You know, I, I tend to do this thing where I act like I'm playing this game for the first time, but, you know, whatever. If Princess Peach indeed went there, you fir your first priority must be must be to catch up with the tour. Collecting the Crystal Stars is, the, is a means to an end, and that end is Princess Peach. And we get the map back. Aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask around about Princess Peach and that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt a shriveled old Goomba like me could handle the trials of a road. Or of the road. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. Alright, and that's it. We don't need to... Wait just a moment! <laughs> he needs to... Hmm. And that was the first match of the game, the Power Smash. Hammers hammer a single enemy using lots of attack power. Mario, it's scary out there. Take this with you. It's called a badge, and it is incredibly, it is incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badges you have equipped, you'll get much more powerful. What's it? Okay, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I know what this is. No thanks. I get it. I know what flat points are. And my voice is getting a little crackly. Nope. Sorry, I was looking at the stream. Ah, uh, okay. Alright, first things first. Um, before we actually head off to the next chapter, um, we actually have some town missions to do. Um, but the only way to get to the town missions is for us to go through and uh, do uh, fight that guy that uh, I mentioned earlier. But, before we do anything else, I'm going to go back here because there's someone else I wanted to talk to earlier that I wasn't able to talk to. He should be here by now. There he is. Hey, you're Mario! Wow, this is so cool! I never thought I'd meet a celebrity out there. Or out here. Oh, I know! Do you want to make an investment, Mario? My name's Lumpy, and I'm heading to out to Dry Dry Desert to prospect for oil. Dry Dry Desert was actually in the previous game, actually. Fun fact. I've lived my life hoping to get rich quick, and now my chances have come! But I still don't have enough startup funds. Can you please lend me some money? I'm accepting initial investments of 100 coins or more. Alright, I'll lend you cash. Thank you so much! You won't regret it! I definitely won't regret it, and we'll see why later. I know 100 coins seems like a lot, but trust me, it's beneficial. And I was walking at the wall for a minute. Mm. Oh, man. Alright. So what should we do? Um, I'm low on health, so I should probably heal up. Really quickly. Hopefully I have enough to heal up. Because unlike the previous game, where you can go into inns for free, you actually have to pay money to go to inns. Oh, I need five. One coin! One freaking coin! Okay. Um, I need to find a coin. Where can I find a coin? Oh, I know. I can go I can go battle some more. That's a good idea. Um, uh, ugh. I think I might invite from one of my friends to join me uh, to talk because honestly, I think I need someone to talk to during the stream. I mean, it's fun to stream. I mean, the reason why I started streaming is to make sure I wasn't that bored, but. Oh, yeah, I need to. Thanks for reminding me. There we go. Uh, BP points. Uh, I need to get up to 9 BP points by the end of this uh, stream, so I'll make sure I do that. Any but uh, anyway, I need to, I need to find a. Is there another enemy down here? Yes, there is. Go around it, and... Oh, dang it. Frick. Alright. What do you want to do? Um... Yeah, why not? I don't need to use any items or, uh, flower points right now. Oh yeah, we now have an audience in the background, too. Um, and because we now have an audience, Stylish Moves will actually be in our benefit. Uh, because, in fact, of status moves allows us to get more star power, which allows us to use more of our abilities, which is cool. Anyway. 
Wait, I just realized something. I just freaking realized something. That sucked. That's what I realized, and... I can use Street Tree! What was I thinking? I am stupid! I don't need to go to a freaking inn, and that sucked. I need to... Ah, come on! Oh, I need more help. Ah! Why do I keep doing... There we go. Yeah, I didn't need the freaking... Hmm. Why I'm stupid. <laughs> I feel like such an idiot. I could have just done that. I didn't have to come back here and get more coins. Well, technically I still need to come back here uh, and fight enemies, but... I see we can do it. Dang it. Um... Yeah, whatever. Let's just finish this. 8 HP is enough. Alright. So we have 6 coins now. We can use that to get... Um, a s or actually... No! We healed up! We're good! <laughs> okay. Um, so now that we're all healed up, I'm gonna go ahead and save my game here. Oh, that felt weird to swallow. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna actually gonna go fight that guy that I was that I talked about earlier. Mm. Oh man, I need to drink some water. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't think the milk's helping. Ugh, that's better. All right. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and fight this guy. Whoa, whoa, hold up now. You're an outsider. Past this point is the turf of Ishnail, head of the Robos. It's ten coins to pass through. I can take you. What? You gotta became me. I'm gonna mess you up. Let's get the party started. Alright, so I don't think this is a boss you're supposed to do this early in the game. But I'm gonna do it anyway, because frick my life. Well, not actually frick my life, but you guys know what I mean. I want to do it early. Like, it's actually good to do this early. That way you can get uh, a boost in uh, star points. Let's go ahead and tell this guy. I'm going to be telling as much as possible, by the way. That way I can get as much for my uh, title log. <laughs> get it? Catalog? Title log? <laughs> That's Gus. He's super annoying. Tries to take tolls from everyone. Max HP is 20, attack 3, and defense is 0. Oh no, he's pretty tough. At this point in the game. So yeah, it takes a lot of damage, so you definitely want to use some really powerful attacks on him. Good thing I have star power! Bam! Yeah! <laughs> you gotta watch out for stage hazards. Um, can't really do much right now, so... Mm, appeal! Why not? Sweet. Huh, that hurt? You have no chance of beating me, trust me, so you better run. This is supposed to teach you if, um... This is actually supposed to teach you to run, actually. So that's what this is supposed to teach you, but... I'm no freaking chicken. I'm no freaking chicken. Three, two, one, bam! Chicken ham. Why do I keep saying these weird <laughs> sayings? I don't know. Um... I can go for one more round. Oh, yeah! And now I can go for another round. Um, unless I want to heal up. Uh, actually, let's use a uh, sweet treat. Just to get my HP back up. And I also get more uh, harp, uh, flower points. Skip it. I can just keep doing this forever. Wow, I did not hit a single poison mushroom. Wow, that's a new that's a new one for me. Anyway. Hmm. Um Yeah, Tao. Go ahead. <laughs> Let's just think about what to do for a minute. Oh, okay. That was sort of not a very good idea. I am the master of the... Frick you. 
Frick it. Dang it. Oh, man. I was so close. I always get so close to those. Um. Yeah, Bill. Why not? <laughs> He's done. Uh, there's no way I'm, I can lose at this point. There really isn't. Anyway. Three, two, one. You're done, buddy. You are done. So yeah, there you go. 22 star points. That's why I recommend doing this boss at the beginning of the game. That way you get ton of star points. You get a huge boost. So it's... It's, uh... You get to, uh... Level 2 much faster. Crud, you dumb video game heroes always pull this stuff. It's ridiculous. You think violence solves everything, don't you? Huh? Don't you? Well, you were kind of... Kind of taking tolls from everybody. So we kind of had to do that. <laughs> um... Anyway.